hey guys and welcome back to my channel let's make this healthy snacks with almond flour so we'll be making this cookie this is almond cookie with just few ingredients and here we have almond powder and i'll be making use of 300 grams of the almond powder i bought this like this in an arab shop but you can prepare your own almond flour at home so i'll be adding two teaspoons of vanilla essence i'll be adding one egg and i will be making use of stevia i'll be making use of three spoons three tablespoons you can make use of sugar or any other sugar uh, substitute you have but because i want this to be healthy so we're making use of stevia this is like ketogenic snack so i mix everything together and I added one tablespoon of water at room temperature. That's the only ingredients I'm adding. Then I start kneading this. You know that almond flour has oil in it. So make sure you knead it very well and press it till it reduces its oil. Then time to mold it. Cut it into small, small shapes like so and mold with your fingers. Then use the back of your spoon to press it down. Just like so. It doesn't stick too much on the back of the spoon because almond has oil. So the oil makes it not to stick on the back of the spoon. It sticks a bit but not that much then. Just carefully remove it whenever it sticks on the back of the spoon just like so. Keep pressing everything down just like I'm doing. If you notice that the edges are a bit separating when you press it down, but not to worry, we fix it later. But it's not a must, you can leave it like this. Then for decoration, I'll be adding almond nuts on each and every one of them. The almond nut serves as decoration. It will also make you to remember that this is almond cookie, especially if you are making other types of cookies at home. It will be easier for you to separate which one is almond cookie and which one is any other type of cookie that you have at home. As I'm adding the nuts, I'm using the opportunity to bring the edges together by pressing it with the tip of my fingers, just like you see me doing in the video. Remember to press down the knot when you put it in the middle, then bring the edges together. And after that, I put it into the preheated oven and bake for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Bake in 180 degrees C or 350 degree F and keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn once it's 15 minutes you can check it and bring it out if it's ready or you can bake it up to 20 minutes and this is what it looks like after 15 minutes so I will put it on a rack and allow it to cool down very well before I store it and after storing it you can enjoy it at any time any point in time you can snack on it like this and you can snack on it with milk or with cola. And here is me snacking on mine on my way back from school inside the train. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you in my next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.